says Lauren doing his up call. You ready? Oh. <laughs> Easton, what do you got on there? Huh? What are you going to do? Okay, good luck. Work hard, and when work gets tougher, work harder. This is how many of us handle our schedules. We leave no room for balance. It's safe to say, this is how my wife Karen handles hers. So when the boys and I walked into her office that day, we knew we were in for a battle. We went there asking for mom to join us on a bear hunt. We went there offering to do whatever it would take to make it possible. Our timing could not have been worse. My wife's work is commission-based, and when she is knocking on the door of her best month ever, well, she won't let anything get in her way. I got work here, and then my arrows. Who's gonna, I don't have any arrows ready. I'll take care so it wasn't surprising when she laid out her expectations. I could see she thought she had asked more of us than we could possibly get done. The boys and I left, knowing she was underestimating us. You see, what Karen forgot is as much as we all love bear hunting, we love having her there with us even more. So we did everything she asked of us, and then some. Everything is done except for this one thing here, and that's what we want to make sure that happens this month. I promise I'll reach Even though out it was hard, and she felt like maybe she was still making a mistake, being a person of her word, she agreed to make the trip. There you go. Is that, is that, I think that's hers. Yeah, I don't know for sure, because sometimes there's a big colored bear without the cubs, because there's that bear, and then there's this bear. So there's this black bear in there. Those are cubs of the year. So those are cubs from this year. If we had gone without her, I know she would have missed it. But she was still having a hard time finding that balance. The balance between the goals at work and taking time off. Just be ready. Keep your keep your eyes peeled. There's uh, a lot of bears in these woods out here, and there's a lot of woods for the bears. So. What's going on? We're in Timberclaw, and we're in Saskatchewan, Canada, and it's day one. Going to try to kill us a bear today, getting ready. Get out there. Who's shooting? Easton and I are up. Even before the hunt started, Karen was beginning to show signs 
And maybe this trip hadn't been such a bad decision after all. She was going to be spending the next week with her family in God's country, something I know she truly cherishes. Even better, she would be spending most of that time in a tree with her teenage son. As a mom, I know she wants to spend every moment with her kids. But when you have a successful business, well, sometimes it's hard to find just the right balance. But as Karen and Warren found their way to their first stand for their first evening hunt, it was already noticeable. Her work was becoming more distant and the true journey was becoming much more clear. I guess all that she had needed was a little help to recognize it. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago, Karen was begging the family to leave her to her work. And now here she was, 1,400 miles away from home, 20 miles away from camp. And even though we were in the middle of nowhere, we were somewhere. We were together. She was loving the remoteness and rugged beauty this area has to offer. You could hear the excitement in her voice as she shared the sights and sounds from her latest bear encounters. Yeah. 
If she had stayed at work, she very well may have set a new record. But records are only benchmarks that are made to be broken. Were memories like these? Well, once they're recorded, they can never be erased. How's it going? Great. We've been really busy. It's going really well. Good. Okay, so Karen is human, and the fact that she could check in at work one last time seemed to be all she needed to completely ease her mind of the work she had left back home. I do wish you luck. Have fun. Okay. okay. All right. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. It's one thing to be consumed with your own work. It's something entirely different to consume yourself with someone else's. But it's the only way to truly appreciate what others do. Especially when what they do is all for you. We go on these trips to hunt, but we also go on these trips to get to know other people, learn other places, and teach our boys a thing or two about life. So when we get the chance to spend the day helping others, well, that's just another way for our family to not just take in the journey, but to be a part of it. Not to mention it feels good. It feels good to know we have left the holder mark. Even if that mark is just a tree stand in the middle of nowhere. Brandon and Dean from Timberclaw Outfitters are two of the nicest people we have ever met, and two of the hardest working guides. Mm. Hey, That's his claws. <laughs> Good job drawing bears, man. Yours gets an A plus. When you add in the fact they are passing on their passion for the outdoors, well, that gives them an A plus in my book every time. Don't get me wrong, Karen came to Canada hoping to shoot a nice bear. But as much as she would like to shoot a bear on this trip, the trip itself was teaching her. It's not about the outcome, it's about the journey and how that journey can help you find balance. see the trip itself had already been a success. I actually think it was a success the moment Karen got in the truck. Okay, let's do a quick day two interview. Right. Okay, it's my second afternoon in the stand. Way, way faster trip coming in here today. We did we got stuck once but made it in, in much faster time yesterday. We saw about six different adult bears yesterday but I'm looking for either a really nice black one or that bigger cinnamon to come back. So.
Beautiful black bear. This is my first boar, and I am so pleased. I have heard Karen talk about that week, how she will never forget the calming words of her son as that giant bear stood motionless at 16 yards, how she will never forget her heart pounding, and how at that moment there was no time to think of balance or anything else for that matter. It was as though everything in life stood still and how when she slowly released her breath in the arrow, it was not only a bear that she recovered, but somehow through it all, she had found that balance. Just a few weeks earlier, my family had walked into my office asking me to take time off from work. I had tried everything to tell them no. I had been so focused on making my best month ever. Good, how are you doing? That I had almost missed it was awesome. the best week we ever. Really good time on our bear hunt. This is a family that really roughs it, huh, honey? Yeah. Right in the chair. <laughs> All right, what's the word, boys in the hood? Go and not do the book. <laughs> 